Now we're going to add a student or multiple students to a section we have created in PowerSchool. So first, you're going to make sure you're under the campus that needs those sections created with those students. The next thing you're going to do is there's a couple of different ways we could add students to a class. If it's a smaller campus or all of your certain grade students are going to all be in the same class, you can just click on that grade. And in this drop down, you can roll down until you see under courses and programs, mass register. So we can mass register the students that way. It'll take you to this page. I'm going to come back there in just a second, but I want to show you, you can also go to a lot of students. So let's say you have a bigger campus and you need to pick and choose who goes where. You can select by hand, uncheck this top box, and then just pick who you want in the course with this teacher in this section that you're about to create. So then we're going to go ahead and update selection. I picked these three students and now I'm going to mass register them in a course. So the easiest way for me to do this is by teacher. There are a couple, as you can see, other ways you can search, but we're going to go to this teacher and search for her. And here is that course. All that would happen now is I would click that course and those three students would automatically be put in there with that teacher. What we don't want to do is click it right now because I don't actually want to add those students to this course. So just know the minute that you click that, they're in the class. So it's not a second step that says, are you sure? It just automatically puts them in there. Now let's go back and I want to show you how you do it individually. So a student starts later or you're adding students one at a time, you can go to that student. And on this left side, you're going to click courses and programs, modify course schedule. And it's going to take you right back to a very similar looking screen. The one thing you're going to want to watch is your dates. So if the date is today, that's not correct because school doesn't start yet. So we're going to want to change that to the first day that this student would be in class. So let's say they came later in the year and they started in December. We don't want their course to start at the beginning of the year because they physically didn't come to school until December. You're going to want to change that date to whatever date they start at school. So make sure you really watch those. That is something that throws a lot of people off. As you can see on this screen, you don't see a teacher. So you're going to pick by period or by course number. I like period better. Uh, obviously, preschool only has one period. Elementary has one period. And then your high schoolers, you should know which period that student's going to start that class. So if I click on that, it's going to take me right back to that same screen that we had a minute ago and I can click that class and it's going to put the student in the class. Just again, verify this date. Make sure that you're not doing it. If I did it as of today, that would be incorrect and the student would not be in the course with the right dates. So we want to check that and make sure that we're good. And really that is all there is to it. We could go back then if I need to add him to a different class. If it's a high schooler, I would go back to courses and program modify course schedule, or if we were going to do the mass enroll thing again, we would just pick the next group of students, click mass register, and add them to a new section. And you would do that for every section you have. Just be really careful when creating sections or adding to sections that you're sure that you're on the right course, the right section at the right time. You as administrators cannot delete a section. Only I can do that or Michelle can do that. So you would have to send me an email and say, hey, I accidentally put these students in a class. Can you please delete them? Which is no problem. I can do that. But do know after school starts, it is a mess if we want to try to delete students because after the first day of school, there's attendance in there. So the only thing that can happen at that point is we have to drop them for them the course, put them in a new course. And it's a little bit of a workaround. Before you ask me to delete a section, please drop the students from that course. I can't delete it with students in there. 
So if you have questions about any of that or anything I just explained to you, please reach out to me and let me know. Thanks.